I will help you to find your next home. What is going on family? This is RJ Bautista, your favorite incredible realtor with LPT Realty specializing in new construction here in Central Florida. Today in this video, I will tell you or I will help you to find your next home or not just about finding your next home, maybe your dream home. And also if you are considering buying a new construction or building your property from the scratch all the way up, make sure to watch this video from this start until the end so that you will learn something or which builder that you need to go when buying a new construction house as you know i'm specializing in new construction but before i start this video if you're new to my channel welcome please subscribe if you haven't done so and the most important thing you know that smash that like button for me and share this video to all your family and friends especially for those people who's looking to come here not just about come move here and live here permanently here in central florida and also i would like to add in this video i am filipino nagtatagalog po ako kung may mga question kayo text nyo po ako yung number ko nandito wag nyo po ako tawag kasi marami akong na-receive na spam call. So kung mag-text man kayo, alam ko na seryoso po kayo. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So number one, I will tell you, when you are finding a property that where you want to live, I always say this to my video. Not just about my video. I always tell to my home buyer clients, location, location, location. Because without the location, if you don't know where you're going or if you don't have any idea where you want to live, and then once you bought a property and once you start living in the property, then you don't find the location is right for you what you're gonna do is you're not gonna stay there in the property or in the location that where you want to live and you will probably end up staying there for a bit and then sell your property and move over again okay because this is the thing when you say location you cannot move or improve the location if the location is not good right however the property when you're buying a property and the property needs some cosmetic or let's say need some upgrades you can do that you can pay somebody or you can do it yourself and upgrade here and upgrade there however if the property is in the location that you don't want to leave you cannot upgrade the location because that's the location however inside the property you can always read there whatever inside there and also whatever you want to do so that's the number one tip that i would like to say here is the location so number two tip is like once you find the location that where you want to live find out what kind of property that you want to have is it like one story house two story house house how many bedroom three bedroom four bedroom five bedroom how many bathroom two bathroom two and a half bathroom three bathroom or four bathroom and how many garage that you want one car garage is enough two car garage or three car garage or even four car garage or the ultra garage if you haven't watched my video about the ultra garage i have made a video in winter haven area here in central florida where they offer a ultra garage means like you can have your boat not just boat or rv if you have an rv or if you're a boat lover you can park your boat or RV there right next to your doorstep or in your garage. That's why they call Ultra Garage. Make sure to watch that video. I will put the video at the end of this video so that you can watch that one later on. It's a good video and it's a good new construction community as well. Okay? So, back to that. If you found like the property that where you want to leave, the location, and then you are finding what kind of property do you want? Including, is it single family house, multifamily house, duplex, townhouse, condo, whatever you want to have, make sure that that is already planned or whatever you want to buy as a construction or a new construction or a property you need to figure out which one that suit to you okay because here in central florida specifically we do have a lot of hoa here this is the one the next that i'm gonna tell you if you're buying a new construction here expect that you are probably buying a new construction which is in the community and you will be paying extra for hoa and most of them i wouldn't say all of them we will have have like they call this CDD okay what is the CDD CDD means the community district development so it means like if the community is on a HOA and some CDD as well it means like this community is upcoming and also its development area that's why you are paying them for CDD on the top of your HOA this is the thing is it good to have an HOA or CDD as well so the good thing about HOA and CDD that it means like when you're living in a community which 
HOA and CDD, it means like it's your area or your location or the community where it's located at, it start or it's going to develop in the future. So what happens is if you're going to buy a property with CDD or HOA, what will happen to your property once you start living in there and then after five years, this particular community which HOA and CDD has developed the surrounding area. So what do you mean like develop? Let's say they have like community center, they have like a little shopping center, they have a lot of grocery store and such more. Okay, it's become too convenient to live in there for after five years. So what will happen is the value of your property or new construction property from the day you bought it probably much bigger or higher or you know when you're going to thinking about selling your property after five years the value of your property will probably times five or maybe more of what you paid five years earlier okay so that's the good thing about having HOA or CDD however the bad thing is there is just you will just paying a little bit more monthly it could be from hundred dollars monthly or it could be 150 or it could be two hundred dollars monthly on the top of your mortgage okay so take note on that one however I am not a lender or community manager so just make sure to find out if this is location is good for you and if you are comfortable paying more about your CDD and HOA in the community that you're going to live okay take note on that one so let's go to the builder let's say you find out what you want to have as a property and also you find your location so number three if you're buying a new construction which I know which you know you should know this that I'm specializing in new construction you need to find out what builder will suit on your needs or what you want to have a new construction house okay here in Central Florida we do have a lot of new construction builders out there or developers okay so you need to find out what criteria that you want okay is it like do you want to have a open floor plan how many bedrooms that you want do you want to have a a, a specific garage that you want to have or do you want a specific um floor plan that you don't want to have any carpet at all in your living room area and also in your bedroom area so specifically you need to know what kind of property inside that you want to buy or what you want to have to live in there okay once you figure that out and then you need to find a local incredible realtor that who could help you because if you are going to come here and you don't know any the location that where you want to live you don't know any property type that you want to live and also the builder type that who could construct your property it will be hard for you to find the right home for you or that your dream home right so you need to narrow it down what you want and what you need to have you know to buy a new construction so that once you meet a local realtor like who's specializing in new construction they can give you option of builders where you can pick and also choose right you, you can compare them because right here or right now here in central florida i would say i have like at least six different builders that you can choose from building your property from the scratch or with already move in ready property where you can just close it in 30 days time or 60 days time once you find the right property i hope that makes sense because like if you are going to build your property from the scratch some builder have their own option that once you buy or under contract this property that's it you cannot have some option to upgrade or change the color of the tile or change of the color of your wall and all that stuff however some builder they are let you to customize your home you can choose your tile color you can choose your countertop you can choose your paint in your house you know it depends on what you want to have in your new construction okay so take note on that one so that you will have like a good idea which builder that you're gonna pick so last tip that i'm gonna tell you because all of my clients i always tell them i want them to save some money for let's say if they're buying a new construction or buying property itself i would tell them like buy the one that you can move in within 30 days time or let's say it's move in ready okay so why because this is the thing some builder giving you an option to move in ready or you can build it from the scratch so what's the difference if you're gonna buy a property or move in ready they give you incentive for that property so that you can have this property to move in ready and then they will give you more in closing costs let's say closing costs they can give you up to 20,000 some builder I've seen this before they're giving 20,000 max 
months move and also you can they can buy down interest rate as you know interest rate is quite high right now they will give you some money or free money i would say some builder say that but they will give you that one so that you can buy down interest rate and your interest rate is going to be lower than what it right now okay but it's different option different builder different offer what the builder gives you so make sure you need to be updated and by then if you have a realtor or local incredible realtor that who could help you represent you that realtor can help you to give your best interest to the seller or to the builder so that they can negotiate on your behalf all right so i hope this video is helpful and thank you so much for watching this video until the end if you watch this video until the end comment down below new construction so i could see how many people who would love to come here and also who wants to buy a property especially in new construction once again thank you for watching and i'll see you on my next video i'm out for today peace I forgot this flashlight. It's working.